Hello, magical butterflies. This is Extina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is going to be a love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This can apply to all types of love connections just to see what the overall energy check in of your love connection is going to bring for the months of October through December 2020. This reading is intended to be timeless, so it can apply to anyone who is guided to my channel in any given time or space. This is going to be a general collective reading. Please use your own discernment when listening and watching this video and only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You will know if something resonates with you because you will feel like I'm speaking directly to you if you are trying to make it fit, then the message is simply not for you, so please do not take it. Let's get into the theme for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The deck I'm going to be using is the Untold Messages of the Heart by Aqua Moonlight. If by any chance I fail to mention a deck I'm using, they will be listed below. Guilt, hurting you was never my intention, but now it's hurting me too. Gentle, I am staying away from you because the last thing I want to do is hurt you. Taken, I am unavailable. What I'm getting with these three cards is that your person feels guilty for the way they treated you. At the time the two of you met, you may have professed your feelings. They were taken. They were in another connection. And they were very um, harsh and very cold in the way they rejected you. And they have seen the error of their ways because it has happened to them. And they're just staying away from you right now because they don't want to hurt you again. Or maybe they're afraid you're going to hurt them. Because they have had an epiphany about how they feel about you. And they're unsure if they should come back around. Within a year or more, so that's very specific to a timeline. So perhaps it's been a year since this rejection has happened maybe it's been two years take it as it resonates but your person definitely feels bad for what they did they do miss you and they're thinking about you they're being um, shown memories of you perhaps of a place where the two of you met or something the two of you did and they're in a battle it's an internal battle I've tried my best to move on, but I can't seem to let you go. So no matter how, how hard they have tried to move on, even going in other connections, they can't because everyone that they come in contact with is not you and they see a little bit of you everywhere they go. Choice. I'm trying to make a very difficult decision and it involves you. So your person is contemplating making a choice by making the choice to come towards you to reach out, to communicate, to have something said that they have never said to you before. I'm feeling an apology, an expression of feelings, and asking for a second chance. Let's get into the overall energy of your connection, just to see uh, if this energy is gonna come through that I picked up on with the theme, and what's just going on. Now this is your energy collectively, it's both of you. The deck I'm going to be using for this is the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight. We have Secret Admirer, Suppression, Resistance, Shyness, Resentment, Stinging Words, Bitterness, Anger, and Unspoken, Regrets, Lost Words, Disappointment. What I'm getting is that your person admires you from afar. They watch you. They have resentment with themselves for what they did, what they said. They know they were bitter and they're very angry at their actions. Unspoken shows me that there are so many things left unsaid between the two of you. 
I feel when they hurt you, you never told them how much they hurt you and you walked away. So you have unspoken words just as them. And let's get some more energy here. We have clashing differences, incompatibility, conflict, harmony, peace, balance, friendship, and euphoria. Chasing thrills, joy and laughter. So I feel your person felt you weren't the right one for them at the time. They felt that you two had big differences, that you would not be compatible, and it would bring conflict because maybe they felt their family would not accept you. But through some time and through the healing that they have done and the healing that they have encountered and learned and grown from, they now have inner peace and they want to bring balance to you and friendship. I'm really drawn to the guitar on this card, so I feel that your person maybe wants to sing you a song or play you a song or maybe they speak to you through music so if you're hearing songs and you're thinking maybe it's from your counterpart it is and they just want to have this euphoria with you they want to chase you they want to laugh with you they want to have joy with you and they want to be with you we have farewell and goodbyes finality closure illusions clouded judgment unbalanced skewed influences dark attachments third parties so your person is saying goodbye to karmics this could be a karmic partner such as a roman romantic interest um a family member a friend work even just um a thought a belief maybe they had an illusion on what they thought love was or maybe they felt they weren't good enough for love but they now see you moving on and they want to come back. Yeah, they're seeing you they're seeing you drifting away and they're longing for you. They really want to come towards you. This is a person who has deep regret and they misunderstood what they were feeling and what they were being shown. It has caused them great despair, you as well. And they want a second chance with you. They want to come back and make amends. They want an opportunity and they want to take you out on a date but they're just confused because they're not sure how you're gonna uh, take it so if you want a second chance with this person and you're feeling it intuitively use the full moon energy that is coming up on October 1st or whenever full moon is coming up when you're watching this to really just release what has been keeping you stuck release the past forgive them and if you truly want a second chance with this person, you have to be able to be open, to be vulnerable, and to allow them in. Okay. The next part of the reading is going to be the head and heart space of your counterpart. So this will be what they're thinking in their head space and what they're feeling in their heart space when it comes to you. And your connection the deck i'm going to be using is divine connections tarot by queen of light 1111 we have the chariot number seven the world 21 which equals a three and we have the two of cups so your person wants to make a move towards you they see you as their world the person they want to be with and they want to come in with the Two of Cups energy to bring you a love offer. So even though they think about the past and they get scared, they're really being shown signs and synchronicities all the time and you of them. You're seeing each other's names, initials, things that remind the two of you of each other, especially if one of you has a job that is in the public eye in some sense, like a gym or a, like a public servant, such as like a first responder, doctor, you're seeing things that remind you of their profession and they um, are being reminded of you as well. We have the sun, number 19, which equals a 10. Tens are about new cycle starting, the nine of swords, and the four of cups. So your person is closing a cycle and wants to close this cycle with you 
to bring balance to you. They see you as someone that they could have a future with. And they do see brighter days ahead when it comes to you and your connection. And in their heart space, we have Queen of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Your person sees you as their Queen of Cups. They see you as someone they want to bring balance to. And they want to bring you a love offer. Now, a page is a very young energy, a very immature energy, but it might be a small offer. They could just ask to meet you because they do want to give you a big offer with the Knight of Wands, but they want to maybe test the water first. So they might reach out to you or you just might run into each other and they might want to just be friends at first and then see how it goes. But your person definitely sees you as the Queen of Cups and the person that they love very much. Okay, next part of the reading is going to be what is being released or what will be released or what needs to be released in this love connection. The deck I'll be using is the Power of Surrender Cards by Judith Orloff. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So surrendering to the passion, connecting with the passion that you two feel for each other, following your passion when it comes to your career and your life purpose, you really just align yourselves with your desires and you stay in perfect alignment with manifesting what you would like to happen in the physical. Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, Turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So surrender this connection to spirit. Whatever is troubling you, whatever has been stuck, surrender it. Give it to spirit. Let them take the wheels. Let them take the reins. And just allow this situation to be as it is now. And just allow things to unfold the way they're supposed to. Surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ. From your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow so if things are not happening as fast or as quickly as you would like them to it is because it is not time remember when dealing with another person they have to make the free will decision to come towards you just as you have to make the free will decision to accept their offer should they come towards you so don't be attached to any expectations have a timeline in mind specific outcome just allow things to unfold naturally and everything will align the way it's supposed to and the last thing that's being released or needs to be released is surrender comparisons with other people keep your eyes trained on yourself focus on your own strengths attractiveness and power so not comparing yourself to others will really help you stay focused on yourself your healing and what you need to do when you're overly focused on other people around you, especially other people around you who are coming in to love connections and getting committed in the sense where they're getting married or getting engaged, having babies, just stay in your lane and just know that when you start to see it around you, it's because it's going to happen to you. So just allow other people to be in their relationships and they can figure it out and just allow things to unfold naturally and everything will work out the way it's supposed to because remember whatever is meant for you will never pass you by and if this connection is destined and faded and meant to come back around it will you won't have to force it because it'll just happen but trying to um, overly focus on it can definitely help pause it and not manifest when it's supposed to so just always stay open to how and when everything is going to come about and everything will shift the way it's supposed to. Let's get into what's shifting, what will be shifting or what needs to shift in this connection. The deck I'm going to be using for this is the truth decks. Think it through, number 14, which equals a five. Fives are about change, community, number three. And temptation, another number three. Think it through. Libra is a thinker. Libra never just reacts. 
Libra thinks things through, sometimes can overthink. You're connected to the community in some capacity or your person is and this person who is thinking it through is actually thinking about communication. Positive energy, number eight, and I always see eight as the forever number, the infinity symbol. Texting you, number 18, which equals a nine, and nines are about cycles closing. And yes, if you shift into positive energy, just knowing this person is going to text you, yes, they will. Now, it may not be the type of text message you want them to say, but if you stay open and unattached and allow them to communicate and say what they need to say, everything will align the way it's supposed to. Show more respect, number 23, which equals a five. Fives are about change. Ask for help, so you have another 23 that equals a five. And more info is needed, so another three. So three, three, three might be a number sequence that you're seeing. Show some respect for yourself. Ask for help when you need it. More info is needed. So whatever you're thinking or feeling about this connection, that's your ego coming in with a narrative that's not true. If you and your person have been separated for a long time, you don't know what they're doing. You don't know what they're thinking. And in the same respect, they don't know what you're doing and what you're thinking. You can only speculate based on what the ego shows you. So if you silence the ego and you allow the intuition to guide you, you will get into that positive energy where you will just allow this text message to come through when it's supposed to. Memories, number seven. Low vibes, number nine. And nines are about cycles closing. Desires, reconnection. So your person and you are both being, have, being shown memories, having memories of the past. You two are releasing the low vibe energy where the two of you will not be thinking about the what has happened between the two of you in the past because you both desire reconnection and desire reconnection is the number 10 card. 10s are about new cycles starting, they equal the one and ones are about something new starting. So if you really want this reconnection to start, you have to let go of the past. You can have memories of this person, but they have to be happy memories. You can't focus on what happened, the pain, reliving it, because all you're doing is just going through the cycle and reliving it, and you're not moving on. You're staying stuck. So stay open to how and when everything will come about. Allow things to unfold naturally, and everything will shift when it's time and will shift the way it's supposed to. The next part of your reading is going to be guidance advice, what you need to know, and any action you might be guided to take either in this love connection as well as on your own personal journey of self. All right, these cards don't want to spread out, so I'm just going to do it this way. Butterfly of dreams and visions, Crystallis Kyanite brings you the message of clairvoyance, perception, second sight. So one of you is a psychic. One of you sees what's going to happen in the future. And you have to trust it. You have to trust what you're being shown. You should know more than anyone that when something is shown to you, there's no timeline. Spirit never shows a timeline. But you just see what's going to happen. So just listening to your intuition, staying detached, and just moving through will help you keep seeing these signs and synchronicities and getting these downloads that will keep you moving forward. Butterfly of Completion and Ending, Smoky Quartz, brings the message of resolution, cleansing, and rebirth. So when you trust your intuition and you're trusting the visions you're being shown, even if you're not clairvoyant and maybe you're just dreaming of this person or just seeing things overall, you will have resolution because when you focus on the solution, that's when the problem gets solved. You will be able to cleanse, heal, complete a cycle, start something new, and have a rebirth happen. And your last guidance message is Butterfly of New Beginnings. Crystal is Moss Agate with the messages of new birth, emerging fertility. So something new is going to manifest in this relationship, in this connection. Something is going to be born. It could be the two of you are meant to have a child together or just come together in some capacity 
and everything will start emerging and coming forward when it's time. I am going to close out this reading with possible future energy on what the future brings for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Love. Remember, this is possible future energy. It is not set in stone. It is what can happen, what may happen if the two of you do the work. Listen to the guidance and make the free will decision to come together. Let go. Abundance. And get more information. What I'm feeling with these three messages is that you both will let go of attachments, not have expectations. You will want to get more information by actually speaking to the person. And you just feel intuitively that this abundance, this new beginning is going to happen. No. Yes. The situation will improve. This shows me the situation is going to improve. No, it is not going to happen the way you envision it. But yes, it will happen. So stay open to how it will happen. Trust. No. <laughs> and forgiveness. So spirit is saying to trust in divine timing. And no is coming through again. Saying no, it's not going to happen the way you want it. So someone is very stubborn and won't allow things to just unfold naturally. Forgiveness needs to be given or will be given in the future. Ask for help from others. Choose a new direction. Compromise. So I feel the person who is going to reach out to apologize is going to ask for help from others, whether it be a mutual friend or just from spirit. They will choose a new direction, a new path, and they will come through with compromise. And all will happen in perfect timing to bring these big, happy changes. So your outlook on this connection is completely up to you because it is how you view yourself, how you view your person, and how you trust. If you don't trust the process, if you don't trust in divine timing, a lot of things are not going to shift the way they want them to. But if you believe that what is meant for you will never pass you by, it will all come about in perfect timing, and you will have these big happy changes in love. I hope that this reading brought you clarity and guidance regarding what October through December is going to bring Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. If it resonated, let me know in the comment section below. If it didn't, check out some of the other zodiac sign videos I will have up. I will be doing the zodiac signs separately from now on, and I will do them in three month intervals. I will try to get them up as quickly as I can, so please make sure you are subscribed and you have the bell notification set so you can be notified when I post a new video. If you are interested in booking a personal guidance reading or session, they can be purchased in my Etsy shop. The link is below. If you are interested in purchasing any of the decks that I have created, the link to purchase if you are in the United States is in my Etsy shop. If you are out of, if you are international outside the US, please message me and I will send you a special link to order. Wishing you a beautiful and magical day, night, or afternoon, wherever you may be. Sending you love and light.